Okay, we all know Nebraska is boring, except in March and February and April. This is when the most spectacular wonder of nature occurs. We begin in Grand Island. Everything you need to know about the sandhill crane migration in Nebraska and why you should see it. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a sandhill crane. Welcome to Grand Island and Kearney, Nebraska, also known as the Central Flyway, where kettles of cranes fly over the Platte River Valley, literally looking like wisps of smoke from a distance. More than 500,000, some say close to 1 million cranes, or 80% of all cranes in the world, arrive on an 80 mile stretch of the Platte River. This remarkable migration happens every year between mid-February and goes through April, with the peak being the third week of March. Sandhill cranes are said to follow the edge of winter as they migrate from as far south as Mexico and travel as far north as Siberia. An individual crane spends about 29 days along the Platte River. During that time, it will deposit up to a pound of fat, which provides the energy necessary to complete the migration and initiate nesting. About 90% of their diet consists of corn, which means during the daylight hours, don't expect to see thousands gathered at the river. Instead, plan to be there at the break of dawn or dusk to see them gather. And when I say gather, it can be densities of more than 12,000 cranes per half mile of river. Now these birds are four feet tall and can fly on a good day up to 500 miles, although 200 or 300 miles is more typical. When visiting to see these amazing sights and sounds, be sure to visit the Crane Trust Nature and Visitor Center. There are some trails and viewing areas here, and they can help point you to good locations. But be warned, if you're going in the morning, get there early because the viewing areas will be very full. There's also the Rose Sanctuary in Kearney, which has an indoor viewing area. And in the evening, the light fades fast. So make sure to see what you want to see first, like the river. Remember to also check the surrounding cornfields, as many will be feeding. It will most likely be quite cold, so bring heavy jackets and gloves. As you can see, there's definitely still snow when we came in late March. You will see many people with cameras, and fancy cameras at that. My favorite thing was the sounds they make in the quiet of remote Nebraska. I also very much liked looking south in the sky, as the distance was filled with birds. The more you look, the more you saw flying towards the river. So be sure to take like five solid minutes and just look south from the river. A final quick note is that it's not only sandhill cranes, but another favorite is whooping cranes. So Nebraska's cornfields might be a bore to see most of the year but it definitely is worth a trip to see the Great Migration. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.